Well, this is the unboxing of the Discovery Mind Blown four cylinder model engine. So, this is what you guys are going to be taking apart, putting together, making a model so you can understand the internal combustion engine a little bit better. Hopefully, once you're done building this model, you'll be able to understand the four stroke cycle, what the different parts are, how they work together, and really what you need to do in general to re fix an engine. So let's start opening up this now. All right, there's a couple tabs. And then once you do that, you can open up the sides. And then you have to slide out. like it was upside down, sorry about that. You have to slide out the contents. And now I'm gonna put this engine box over here. And let's see what we have inside. All right. So first of all, there's some directions and some safety warnings. It's a choking hazard, kids. Um, I'm not sure what this is for. I'll take a look at it later. It looks like it, maybe it might be a poster. Oh yeah, that's cool poster that shows you some interesting information so inside the box we have a bunch of different parts I want to take them out what I want to find first is the tool that you're going to be using to actually build this because that's supposed to come with a kit so I'm just going to look in here until I find hopefully the tool that you're going to be using this actually looks pretty exciting there's the belts. There's part of the cylinders. It's pretty neat. Part of the manifolds, exhaust and intake manifolds. This looks like another part of the block and part of the cylinder head right here. All right. So now that I have everything unboxed, I'm gonna move this box off to the side. I'm gonna look in the directions because I don't see an obvious place that that screwdriver is. So let's open it up. instructions here and step one is showing us what to do so let me see if I can find what we need ah so in this bag that has a bunch of different parts it has the LED lights you'll actually see there's the screwdriver so that is the tool you're going to be using so you're gonna need that pretty much right away. So I'm gonna close this bag back up for now. Set that off to the side and look at what it's telling us to use first. So if I can try to get these directions open, but they're manageable. It says, put the engine mounting stand and oil pan together. Screw the engine mounting stand to the oil pan through the bottom portion of the engine mounting stand. All right. That's a mouthful, but this looks like part of the engine mounting stand right here. Kind of looks like the picture. I can see there's other things in this bag as well. But that looks like the stand from the picture. And then it says put that and the oil pan together. Ah, I see, this is the engine mounting stand. There's the oil pan. So I put this together and now I have to find the screws. And what kit are they in? They're in that main kit as well. You can see them right at the bottom of the bag. So please don't lose these screws because that's really the only way we're gonna keep this together. So let me get those out now. All right, so I'm gonna set these parts off to the side for now. Open up this bag. I need four screws. And I'm going to screw it together. Ah, there's different types of screws. Interesting. And we don't want the cap screws. We're going to want these little screws with the tapered heads. 
all right? That's what we're going to want for the beginning, according to these directions. So, find some, out something new every day. So that makes sense because if you see the way they fit into this hole, there really wouldn't be any other way, any other screw to use. It needs to fit in the hole, not on top of the hole. Now I would suggest putting all four of these screws in lightly first. Do not tighten them all the way so you can line everything up. Screws in pretty easily, so that's a good thing. That's why I really recommended everybody have their own table, right? Because look at all this stuff. All right, so I am tightening up this setup, and I can move on to the second part of the directions. So I'm going to save this little flat screw that was not the screw we should be using. Put it right in the bag. Don't dump all the screws out of the bag. You'll definitely lose them. Please try to keep them in there. All right, the next step is to screw the lower crankcase into the oil pan. That's what it says right here. Screw the lower crankcase into the oil pan. So I have to find the lower crankcase first because there's a few things that look like they could be it, but I think this might be the lower crankcase right here. This really looks like it. Now the bags all say warnings, but they don't say what each part is. So I'm gonna have to really take it out and take a look, compare it to the directions. And yes, that looks like the lower crankcase to me. So I flip this over. Now we have our oil pan facing up. We have our lower crankcase and sure enough, these screw holes line up. But I think if I look at this closely, they're only gonna line up in one direction. Okay, so remember that. It fits on not this way, but this way. There's six screw holes, and now I need to tighten that up as well. So I need six more of those tiny little screws. And they seem to stick to your um, screwdriver like magnetically which is a super help I think again I put all those screws in loosely first so if there's any problems lining up the um, parts we can get it lined up and then tighten everything even in real automotive that's how you want to do it you cannot tighten one bolt first and then expect to fit the others you need to put them all, all in loosely for whatever you're working on and then tighten them all up after they're all in loosely. I'm really good at this, huh? Twenty years of experience is a tech. <laughs> Just kidding. work here. My kids are texting me for the Netflix password. All right, now this one doesn't seem like it wants to fit so well, so, hmm. Ah. No, that's right. Okay, but that's interesting. It looks like this hole actually hasn't gone all the way through. So I'm going to give it a little push. Hmm. So one of these holes it didn't actually go all the way through, so I don't think I can put all the screws in. One, two, three, four, five. I think instead of trying to break this or drill it, I'm gonna leave that screw out for now. Tighten all the others up. So I'm pretty sure that amount of screws being in place is gonna make this thing pretty tight. I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about it. So if you find that, if you find for some reason one screw won't fit because um, when they put it together or when they machined it, it didn't work, and you're gonna know why. Alrighty, so we have the base, we have the oil pan, and we have the bottom of the crankcase together right now.
Now the next part it wants us to put together is the crankshaft and the connecting rods. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the crankshaft out now, and then for our next lesson, we'll start putting that together. Hmm, looking to see what box it could possibly be in, or bag, excuse me. Not here. Oh, I think this is it. Okay, so the bag full of blue stuff, I think is our crankshaft. And now you're going to be able to see a 3D crankshaft, not just a picture of one, right? So here's the crankshaft, and it spins. Even the counterweights are put on, and where each piston goes is put on there. These are the main bearing journals right here. Wow, it's pretty cool. Let's see if I pop that in. Oh, yeah, sure, that's going to work perfectly. All right, I'm going to stop right there, and we'll get on the rest next time.